So my name is Aurelia Zeewee. I'm actually uh, a brand architect. I'm also the author of Ready Launch Brand, the Lean Marketing Guide for Startups. My niche is helping founders, solopreneurs, and companies that are looking to grow uh, to help them get clear on who they are, who their target customer is. And then what I do is I kind of, I guess I uh, think of it as like maybe the magic ingredient is I actually help them communicate their, uh, their superpower to their customers so they can attract the right customer. Uh, and then I also help them with their website and co with content creation. So I kind of cover, cover a lot of things. Um, but yeah, uh, and I'm also a speaker. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> and awesome. All right, now Orly joined us in around February this past year. So it's been about three to four months now and she's getting some major traction. She's like really on fire. So tell us about where you were with your business before you started working with us, Orly, and then where you are now. Yeah, it's, you know, it's funny. I was looking back um, and, and actually I went through like just the last couple of months because that's when really things have started to take off. Um, and where I was before, I was really all over the place. You know, I mean, as you can hear, I do a lot of different things and I was getting work and I, was, and I, and I had work, but it was coming in a very haphazard way. And I also had no system for tracking my prospect, like my whole sales funnel. And I have to say that um, the other thing that I, I didn't even know I could do, that I could actually book a client during a call and they would pay me before we actually met. That was like a revelation to me that I could do this. And I've done this now several times. And it always is like, it's such a happy surprise. Like, oh my God, I can actually get the money right now. <laughs> I don't have to send them an invoice. It's all like done electronically. It's yeah. So that, that was really great. Um, and the other thing I wanted to mention is, you know, that I felt completely overwhelmed, like just the whole concept, it just seemed so hard to do. And I, you know, like so many, so many founders, you know, the founders that I talked to myself, um, you know, it's, it's this idea that it sounds overwhelming because you don't have a system and having a system is really has just been a game changer for me to be able to organize a sales funnel to understand you know kind of what my offerings are to clarify it to get it in in line and have a way to get somebody from a conversation to closing the sale that's awesome okay so what um, walk us through some other um any other kind of wins or insights you've had um, either personally or, you know, just some, you know, what has changed um, in your life or your mindset? So um, again, I, I just went back to beginning of April. So we're talking two months. I've been a guest on three podcasts that are focused specifically on my demographic and, uh, and actually have like one of the last one I did, they have 3000 monthly downloads and the people they're talking to are the people who are actually going to hire me. That's like an amazing thing. And I was also invited on a, a fourth podcast uh, and that's in November. And that one is also focused directly to my customers. And, uh, and they only interview 12, I think they do 12 interviews a year. Um, and I think it's the reason, part of why I was able to do this is because I feel so much more confident, you know, in the sense that I understand what I offer I'm like laser focused, laser clear on what I don't want. Um, and so I can also turn down things. Um, but the wins, you know, I just want to, I, I had to write them all down. So I've spoken in a national conference. I've given a webinar to a national association and to Wharton. They have an alumni association. And, um, and through that, um, I've gotten three prospects. Two of them look like they're going to become clients next week. And, um, and also through my connection with Warden, I'm now getting connected to, um, to a couple of I, uh, other Ivy League schools about doing a program there. Um, and so I think, you know, it's not that I didn't have opportunities before, but I think because I didn't have a system, um, you know, it's this idea that when I would get on a call, it just felt like I had to close that, whatever that call was. And now what I understand is that it's really about um, having a pipeline. Um, and the, uh, on the other, the, the other way, I, I forgot this one, I wrote it all down so I wouldn't forget. And I'm looking at it right now, but I'm in conversation with a potential strategic partner who wants to market one of my programs. 
And the reason that that is so exciting is because I've worked with Deidre and Carmen to help me really get focused on what is the program? What am I, you know, what's my transformation? How do I price this? What, you know, and so when I had the conversation with this person, this was yesterday, um, they loved it, right? Because we had already kind of figured out how to have that conversation. So one of the things that for me is a huge win is that I'm able to have better conversations with people and I understand um, kind of what I'm, what I'm bringing to the table. Oh, and the last thing, my conversion rate is 35%. Yes. <laughs> Which is like, she knows it. I'm the most awesome me. part is she knows what it is. So that is, so uh, well, cool. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. that's what happens when you have a, when you have a system and now I'm in the second quarter and I'm looking at this and I'm like easily booking 10 calls um, a week. And before that would have seemed like impossible to do. Oh, that is so awesome. Orly. I just, we're so excited for all that you oh, so far, you've come so far in such a short time. So one last thing is, um, do you have any advice for anybody who uh, was considering the program? Like maybe back, you know, when you were thinking about it, um, you know, they're sitting on the fence, they're not sure if they should invest. Um, what would you say to them? So, you know, you know, like Maura, I mean, just do it, honestly, because it's going to be the best decision you ever made. Um, I think it's not, you know, part of what, and I, I'm going to, um, I'm going to echo what Maura has said. It's like, you've got these, you know, two incredible coaches who understand sales and marketing. And I literally will, I actually emailed you guys. I think it was yesterday, like at six o'clock in the morning, because I was really worried about this call that I was going to have. And, you know, they get back to me like within a couple of hours, I get advice, I get information. It's just having people who are literally invested in your success is just an amazing thing. And also someone who will celebrate your wins with you. So when I write and I say, look, I, this happened and she loved this, this idea and, you know, we're, we're in conversation and, and, you know, I get like all this, like, you know, happy dances and, you know, just all kinds of, of support. And that's, you know, when you're a solopreneur, that's a huge thing to have somebody who wants you to succeed, helps you to do that, and then helps you celebrate them. And also to Maura's point, one of the things that I've learned is, you know, when something doesn't go your way, like before it would be like, oh my God, what am I going to do? And now it's like exactly what Maura said, you know, either Deidre or Carmel said, like, yeah, that happens. Don't worry about it. It's okay. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and then I then you realize like this is all normal. This is all part of it. Um, so having the sounding board, having the expertise, and I will say that one of the things that I've really gotten out of the, the program so far is you know the how to have that conversation. And so I've like taken prodigious notes, and I've got like my whole sales questionnaire, and I walk them through that process. And the big thing that's happened is that it's no longer sales pitch. It's just a conversation. And if it doesn't happen, I've got a pipeline with 10 more people lined up. 